Lethbridge residents as well as staff from the City, Arches and Alberta Health Services gathered here at the Lethbridge College Instructional Building Monday to hear from a panel of five experts that included Sergeant Robin Klassen and Lethbridge Fire and EMS Deputy Chief Dana Terry. Really, on a daily basis, we're responding to overdoses. I, I guess um, we would have to look at our overall numbers for the year, but uh, really on a daily basis, we're responding to overdoses. Terry gave a short presentation in which he detailed that the programs to deal with needles around the city have helped the city's fire and EMS services. What we do know is from the numbers that we've received from Arches, is that they are dealing with, with uh, a quite a large number of overdoses that it, had they not been there, we would have been dealing with those calls. So we do see a reduction in, in, that, res in that respect. Other presenters included Dr. Nick Etches, the lead provincial medical health officer for harm reduction with Alberta Health Services, who spoke on the stigma of addiction and needles. There is no such thing as a safe needle lying on the ground, but in general the infectious risks um, are not as great as many people uh, initially think, especially for needles, again, that have been lying outside for a prolonged period of time. And we do know that by engaging people that use drugs in needle and syringe distribution programs, we can educate them um, on how best to uh, dispose of needles uh, safely and not in public. Alberta Health Services also sent Trevor Inaba, the Executive Director for Addiction and Mental Health in the South Zone, who told residents we can all make a difference in our sphere of influence and stressed the importance of community and overcoming addiction. Dr. Elaine Hishka, Public School of Health Assistant Professor at the University of Alberta, also spoke. I get asked a lot um, whether there's one solution to the opioid crisis and 100% no, there isn't. It's a very complex issue uh, and it, we need everybody to be involved. So we need our partners in law enforcement to play their role, but we also need treatment prevention and harm reduction. And um, we need a variety of different solutions that are implemented all together. Dr. Hishka also stated that arresting users and dealers is not the answer, something that was corroborated by Sergeant Robin Klassen in her presentation. For those who missed the meeting, they can see it in full on the City of Lethbridge website. For Bridge City News, I'm Ben Matichuk.